With the high temperatures hitting the area the past few days and the start of the school year, heat safety on school buses is a top priority. ABC 17's Gabrielle Tyner is reporting live from outside Hickman High School as these temperatures continue to climb this morning. And Gabrielle, experts have several recommendations to keep your kids safe outside. Yeah, Erica, good morning. The National Weather Service and the EPA say kids are especially vulnerable because it is harder for their bodies to maintain normal body temperature. And as I'm standing out here right now, I can feel it starting to warm up. The EPA suggests making sure children drink plenty of fluids before, during, and after getting on the bus to prevent dehydration. They also suggest dressing children in light, loose-fitting clothing made with materials like cotton and to wear sunscreen. Some signs a child might be suffering from dehydration or a heat stroke include decreased physical activity, dry mouth, lack of sweating, flushed skin, dizziness, and headaches. The CDC emphasized to not leave children in hot cars or buses. Drivers need to be extra cautious when checking for children who may have fallen asleep or were distracted during routes. If a child is suffering from dehydration or a heat stroke, get them into a cooler environment and give them plenty of fluids to replenish, especially electrolytes or other fluid replacing products. If the conditions continue to present themselves, call a doctor immediately. Reporting live in Columbia, Gabrielle Tyner, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. It is also important that bus drivers themselves take these tips into consideration when driving school buses in the heat.